first let's talk about invite, invite, invite. The first of those invites is to invite people to be your friend. Ah, super scary, right? No, don't overcomplicate it. All you're doing is meeting new people, inviting them to be your friend, and connecting with them on common ground that's not beach body. Making new friends is the same thing as adding new people to your contact list, which is also known as finding new people, or sometimes we call it a find. Be sure you're making new friends and adding them to your contact list to invite to a challenge group later on. Just because you added them to your contact list today doesn't mean you have to invite them today. It's just another person to connect with, to talk to, to get to know, and maybe an invite will be appropriate as you're getting to know them. You only have so many people on your contact list. You may only have 100 Facebook friends, maybe 200 Facebook friends, which is totally fine. But please don't limit yourself to those 100 friends on Facebook. To be successful in this business, you are going to have to find new ways to meet more people and connect with them. A few ways you can find more people are joining groups on Facebook on other areas of interest that you have. So if you're a mom of twins, you have, I have a son with a specific disorder that I went and found a group on Facebook with, that's full of moms who have sons or daughters with the same disorder. Think about the five areas of interest that we talked about, about your posting rotation, defining yourself and the things you're interested in and who you are, and find groups on social media to join with other people with common interests like that. Another way is to look through your friends on Facebook and look at their friends list. So the reason you do this, we're not going to go and add people as a friend that you don't know. You're just looking for people from your past or maybe people you haven't talked to for a long time. If you look through someone's friend list from, let's say, high school or college, you may find other people you went to high school with that you are not yet connected with on social media. So add those people as a friend and start connecting with them. Another way to do it is to join a local club, pick up a new hobby and meet people through that, go to your kid's school and volunteer, community groups, religious groups. You're simply just making friends and connecting on other areas of interest. People that are successful in this business are growing their contact list daily. They are constantly looking for new ways to meet more people, but you need to make sure this is on a genuine level. We call this activity finding new people or finds. It's important if you want this to be a business to constantly be looking for ways to meet more people and build friendships and relationships with them. So what do you do once you've met someone new, you connect with them, you connect on common ground like we talked about, ask them about themselves, get to know things about their family, their occupation, recreation, ask them questions, connect, relate, talk to them, make your conversation, conversations online exactly as they would be in person. A reconnect or reconnecting with someone is getting reacquainted with people who you share common ground with, but maybe you haven't talked to them for a while. To reconnect, you do the same thing as connecting, but you ask questions about what's new. Ask about their family, occupation, recreation, remembering old times. You're just reconnecting, so it's more natural when you decide it's the right time to invite them to a challenge group or to be a coach or to try Shakeology. This is a much better option than sending a cold invite to your challenge group when you haven't talked to that person in 10 years. That's not really natural. So this reconnecting is a great way to talk to them again, rekindle your relationship. It's just as important as connecting and it should come before an invitation. An example of connecting or reconnecting would be commenting on pictures on social media, liking your friends' posts, having public interaction with them, which will make it much more normal and natural to send them a private message. When you send your first private message, you're not necessarily inviting them to your challenge group yet. Talk about what you saw them post. Talk about their kids. Those same things we were talking about earlier, asking about their family, their recreation, occupation. You're just closing your mouth, getting to know them, asking questions, and really trying to spend more time learning about them than you are talking about yourself. However, if you're asking them questions as the messages go back and forth, they're probably going to ask you similar questions about your life. This is a great way and likely going to open up an opportunity for you to be able to share about Beachbody, share about coaching, and give little tidbits of information about your challenge groups, etc. And so it's not something you have to force information on. It just comes up naturally as they ask what you're up to. Spend more time talking about them than you. This is the time to focus on listening and closing your mouth. Connecting with new friends and reconnecting with old friends is all part of inviting people to be your friend, which is the first invite of the first vital behavior. Invite, invite, invite.